Bruce and I are out here passing some time away because I just finished live streaming on my YouTube channel. If you weren't watching that, then you missed out on a pretty good live stream. It was on Gran Turismo Sport. For those of y'all who do play, my name is Poochie Jr. on the... Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, slow fella. I pretty much was just driving around with my Genesis in the class three, it was a 500 horsepower Genesis. It was pretty fun. But now I'm outside because we need to get started with this thing. She's pretty dirty, but and just like in every video, she's pretty dirty. But I have a few maintenance things I need to do to it. Like whenever I was uh, following behind a Mustang, yeah, this happens. That's not good. So I gotta try to seal up this rock chip before the chip turns into a crack that goes all the way across my windshield because that's never good to have and i also need to fix my bumper like i've been telling y'all for so long now and my filter look at it it's all scrunched up i don't know if i ever showed y'all this on the channel but this is what happened with my filter because i forgot to take a bag off of this after i washed it and so whenever it, i turned it on it sucked in the bag real tight and squeezed around right here so I'm gonna try to get that out and I also need to cut this once I put the filter in the right spot and put some wire mesh right here or something along with my fog light because lights really turned out to be like a very good luxury to have more than a necessity to me well of course you need them but it's a very good luxury to have and I'm starting to realize that now when driving I like to have my fog lights on because it lets me see the lower part of the road like right in front of the car and my headlights actually just shine farther out so with that being said i need to go ahead and take care of that stuff take the bumper off of the car so i can get the fix in this place the filter right and then go ahead and get started with what i told y'all i had to do and also i did buy new windshield wipers it's pretty much like a maintenance day so just stick around, watch the video, and watch me maintain the car. So what I have here is the Permatex windshield repair kit and you can get this from your local auto parts store like AutoZone or O'Reilly something like that and basically what the instructions say to do is to Alright, so now this has to sit like this for 10 minutes so far, and then I'm going to figure out what I need to do next. But while that's sitting, I need to be getting ready to take this bumper off because uh, I don't want to run out of daylight, and I usually run out of daylight when I'm doing stuff like this. So let me grab my handy dandy toolbox right here, and I'm about to start taking this bumper off. Now everybody should have a better look at what I was talking about. Look how I squeezed this thing, bruh. That's not good at all. I zip tied all this stuff up, but that's gonna be coming back down, hopefully. But look how much space I have, I can move the filter back so I can be able to get my fog light in because it was just pressing in barely right here. So I can be able to push the filter back this way and that should give me enough clearance to get my fog light on and do everything so now I'm just gonna unbolt it from up here y'all probably can't see but yeah that clamp up here I'm gonna undo that one so I can spin this back but I'm also gonna take it off because I have to fix this but I have to just spin that back a little bit then I should be able in theory to put my fog light back on fingers crossed all right with 
this pushed back a little bit. I opened it up some so you can see it's not like curved, but this is still crinkled a little bit. I think that'll be fine though. And I replaced this fog light just so I could put it back up there to see if this actually did anything before I do any cutting. Because if not, then I'm going to have to see about how I can change pretty much all of this piping. Not all of it, but the bend that goes like this. I'm probably going to end up having to like change that a little bit. But I'm about to try to put the bumper on. Hopefully it fits. If it does, I'll just let you know. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's hitting the filter on the left side of it. So, ugh, the filter needs to be moved that way. Like, I think it'll be good if I just moved it back like I did, but I didn't know I would have to move the filter this way. So, looks like I'm still gonna be riding around with one fog light. I mean, that's a bummer, but gotta do what you gotta do. I'll fix it one of these days. Probably not today though. I don't feel like fixing it today. But on the bright side, I think I did do a little bit of something with this crack right here. You can pretty much barely see it, which is what I was going for. And plus I just didn't want it to spread throughout the rest of the windshield, which is good in my book. That's a plus. The bumper situation is not a plus though. I'm gonna fix that sooner or later. All right, since I still have this piping right here, I think I'm gonna have to move on to a bigger elbow. Like probably this, I don't know if I'm gonna do the 90 to be honest, but this 45, I might have to go with that. I think what I have on there now is like a 30 or something like that. But I don't know, uh, y'all probably, probably gonna be mad at me for doing that, but that's what I need to do. And I don't really care about if I lose the velocity of the intake or something like that i mean i don't really care this isn't a drag car anyways but i'm not gonna worry about it right now just like i told you i'm about to move on put the bumper back on and put my windshield wipers on there which do i even still have them pull me out of i don't know when that's gonna start running but yep got them right here windshield wipers put these on real quick and then get the car back drivable literally bought these things last summer like june or july but this is a 24 inch wiper blade on the driver's side this is a 20 inch wiper blade on the passenger side look who coming in the driveway look at her she just called me asked me do i have some windshield wiper spray because she got a clean hug windshield but anybody else let me ask you this. Anybody else get so aggravated because your girl wants to put her feet all on the dash with her socks and stuff, and then all the feet get to touching the windshield and stuff? That's how she is in her car. So uh, she can't hear me right now, but that's how she is in her car. She tried to be like that in my car, but. Look at her. Y'all couldn't see what she was doing. <laughs> Anyways, let me go put these wipers on, quit stall of a time, because I need to drive this thing, make sure that everything's straight, buttoned up, and nothing's going to fall off on the freeway. And I know today's video wasn't really much at all, and I'm sorry for that, but I am still trying to get content out for you guys, and let me wait for this thing to go down. Like I was saying before I was rudely interrupting, I am still trying to get content out for you guys, and uh, today is just one of those days where things did not go exactly how I thought they were. They did not go according to my plans, but hey, uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm trying to teach myself that it's okay for things not to go as planned as long as you don't stop, you don't stop the grind, you don't give up, 
you don't let like let it get to you that much but i mean just try to do better next time or try to work around those type of things this is a good stopping point for today's video so this is where i'm gonna end it if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up leave some positive vibes in the comment section below and i'll catch y'all in the next video and as always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank y'all for watching